Good morning, happy Sunday. I am feeling a little bit sorry for myself. <laughs> I've got the most chesty cough. I feel like I'm already experiencing what people said when you have a baby and then they start interacting with other kids and they bring home so many germs and ocean doesn't really go anywhere to put it so this is obviously just me dipping my toe in the water and experiencing what's to come in the future but we literally went to a first birthday party last weekend but there was loads of kids there obviously and ocean's had a cold all week and i've got it now and i seem to have got for the first time the worst version of it i just hope it doesn't turn into like a chest infection or anything because that's the kind of vibe i'm getting at the minute but when better to start a vlog than when you don't feel well huh but i'm just laying here and ocean's napping cass is sleeping and i'm binging love is blind if you're not watching the new series it's so good and also right in my to-do list for the week so <laughs> just thought i haven't actually started a vlog since we've been back from dubai i watched like the final version of my dubai vlog last night i'm gonna get that up tomorrow i think by the time you're watching this it'll already be up but it's the first time watching back my footage from my new camera and i'm so happy with it i'm so excited so i think subconsciously that's what kind of why i've been putting off vlogging a little bit as well because i didn't want to jump into a new vlog if i wasn't fully happy with the new camera but let me know what you thought about the Dubai vlog and the footage and I absolutely love that vlog as well so if you haven't watched it I'll link it down below we're just gonna do a typical few days simple boring life as a mum which you guys seem to love they seem to be your favorite videos thanks for tuning back in and hope you guys enjoy this vlog one's away Someone's so excited. Did you have a nice nap? Wow. Say good morning, snotty girl. <laughs> That's a nice big smile. Can I have a kiss? We're just going to keep passing germs back to each other, aren't we? Oh, that snot. For this vlog, I'm teaming up with Johnson's baby and supporting their campaign, A Parent Is Born. Something that we forget about, that when a child is born, a parent is born too. And it is so important as parents that we make time for ourselves. And my main thing in the mornings is getting ready for the day. Here's my Sunday OOTD. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why I'm acting like it's 20 degrees outside. I'm going to obviously put a coat on, but this v-neck jumper is from... Zara. These jeans, I love these jeans. They are from Revolve. And then this bag is a Bottega dupe. I'm in my dupe era since I was robbed. I am, um, I'm just a bit like, I've kind of don't really care for, I mean, you guys are gonna send me this clip when I buy my next designer bag. Actually, I've already bought one since that happened, but I mean, I'm not, it's not the be all and end all for me. Like this is from Olivia Sales. She does the best like dupes. I just feel like it looks really cute. I love this, it's quite small, but Ocean's napping, Cass is here, and I'm gonna be running to my nans. We've got a little bit of content to do, we've got some Mother's Day content to do, and then that is literally the bulk of my day, to be honest. I still wanna keep Sunday pretty mellow and chill, but makes a change to kind of make effort on a Sunday. Who's having a lazy Sunday? Are you having a pajama day? Are you having a pajama day? Uh, oh, we just head <laughs> That didn't hurt. That didn't hurt. We are in that phase right now. <laughs> that did not hurt you. <laughs> hey, don't be silly. <laughs> Have you seen that TikTok where you walk through the door and you bump the head? Um, like with your hand? Like they don't, you literally go, and you go, oh, are you okay? Your head. You didn't hit your head. I'm being silly. Mm. You know, you know, my mama glasses. Yeah. 
I thought so. What? Look at this cool girl. <laughs> we'll put them on. Wow. Anyway, we're going to make some dinner, aren't we? What we have to do so bad, I'm just going to go, woohoo! That was so fun! You know how mommy's the only one in A's? Oh, you got cranked today. I think she's still feeling like <clears throat> the cold that we were lingering. But obviously, she can't tell us, can you? But we're going to make some bolognese. And you're going to help me. I think you're going to have to. Come on then, bunny. As busy working parents, it can be really hard to try and make time for each other, but we've made it our mission to try and have as many meal times together as possible. Making time for each other is just as important to us now, maybe even more so than before we had Ocean. Simple moments are some of the moments that we now treasure the most. Just because parents are born doesn't mean that date nights need to stop, it just might mean that we have a little plus one with us during each date night at home. <laughs> moments of her in the bar seat because where's my baby gone how are you going to be one so soon does anyone ever just sit and look I, I know you do but like as parents just sit and look at them like how how I mean I'm sure I'm going to do this every year but because we're planning her party for her first birthday it's literally a month away I'm just like I don't understand where this year's gone and I don't understand how you're literally growing by the second. Who are you? What is this? It's your toys. But also, obviously coming up to her birthday means it's a year since we've become parents. I think that's what people forget. A year of having a baby but also a year since a parent was born and that chapter in our lives begun and I just can't believe it. I actually saw someone comment on a baby's birthday post once, it's always stuck with me. It was actually Tia Linica and she said like happy birthday to the baby and she was like also happy one year of birth day, like birth in capital letters to you mama. Because it's so true, it's like a whole year for us and the biggest change and chapter in our life. Obviously the best ever but also the biggest change in the whole world. Oh, you got your so I get emotional, but then at the same time, I'm like, each stage, each age is getting so much better. Like, I just, how often mums are we having these random sit downs and emotional moments? Like, I could literally pull my heart out right now and talk about how happy I am with, like, this age. I'm like, this is my favourite age. I say this every month. And then I'm like, where's my tiny baby gone? But then in the same breath, I don't know. I just think this age is so much better than the newborn stage, but then she's never gonna be that small again. And also it just makes me laugh how all these things I say and she literally, she doesn't have a clue what I'm talking about, do you? Do you? Do you have any idea what mum was talking about? Can I wash you? What a year it's been, huh? Have you had the best year ever? I mean, it's your only year, but we can still say that, right? But this actually ties in really nicely because I am so sad to be partnering with Johnson's. When I tell you this brings back so many memories, just the scent of Johnson's products, my whole childhood, and it's just something that we've always used on Ocean since she was a baby. We actually got gifted quite a lot from family and friends, a lot of our friends and family, which I'd say is the best idea, by the way, if you've got a friend or family member that's pregnant, making like a bath hamper for the baby. A couple of my friends did it, so we had loads of products lined up, which was really good, and it was just like a baby bath towel, and then like, say, these two products, so the body wash and the shampoo, 
cotton pads and stuff like that and honestly having that supply is just the best ever but we absolutely love using Johnson's products on Ocean. They are literally clinically proven to be as mild as butter. The amount of time she's had this product by accident in her eyes and she wouldn't have even bat an eyelid to be honest because like I said it's so gentle and the smell for me, nothing beats the smell of Johnson's products. It is the scent of just how you want your baby to smell in a tub. <laughs> Look at that hair. And it's obviously free from parabens, sulfates, dyes. And I actually, uh, I'll be honest, I use the body wash quite a lot. If I'm in the bath, we're actually, massive sidetrack, but we're having problems with our shower at the minute. So I've been bathing every day and I've been using the Johnson's body wash because it's just also, side note, if you're a new mum, these are fine to use on newborns. I feel like I remember as clear as day. As much as the newborn stage is a massive blur, I remember the worries and the fears. And as much as I still do it now, it's kind of like you're in autopilot. But when you are a new mum in that like first two weeks, mum or dad, you second guess everything. And I remember literally reading every ingredient in every single bottle and... Yeah, you just honestly you've got this fresh brand new baby oh my god i could cry thinking about it and yeah you just obviously want what's best for them so johnson's is what we went for and i think you can see our johnson's product it wasn't an ad at the time which is a full circle moment and we are using the johnson's product on her for her first bath if i can find it i'll put it on the screen are you ready to get out ocean are you ready to get out? Ready? Boom! <laughs> Can you say thank you Johnson's for sponsoring our video? No need to. Say thank you Johnson's! <laughs> Wandy fan on our hands. I always let her finish my FaceTime calls with my nan. And when they hung up, she randomly just started playing One Direction. So we just went with it, didn't we? Also, my pajamas are on inside out. Let's just ignore that. But happy Monday. It is a beautiful day for a change. The sky is blue. The sun is shining. What are you eating? Why do you always look like you've got something in your mouth? Today, Oshie? Kiss. We do kissy faces, but you don't kiss mama. Go say hi. Morning. How are you feeling? Feeling fresh? So fresh and so clean, clean. So today, I actually done all my work for today, yesterday, which makes a nice change. And there's no way you're tired. <sighs> there's just no way. So we need to get sorted, don't we? Her nanny's coming to spend the day with her. Yep. Cass's mum's coming over yep. and I'm going to treat it as like a bit of an errands day, aren't I? Because normally when we're glued at the hip, things take a little bit longer. So I'm going to do things that I've been putting up like a couple of returns, I need to get my nails done. So I used to always think I'd be happy taking her in the nail shop, but a couple of times I've gone to do it and then I've just said I'll do it another day because I don't know if it's just my nail shop. The smell of nail stuff like acrylic and stuff is so strong and I'm just like I've become that mum and I'm just like I just don't want her in there I'm not judging if you do I mean it would be easier to just get my nails done when she's napping and have to go walk but yeah I'm just gonna do stuff like that today she's definitely been saying mum 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 lately haven't you we still haven't got a distinct mama but just before she throws a little paddy she goes Mum! <laughs> Mum! I think we've cut to mum already, not even doing mama. How come dad gets dada? You crawl in and go dada? Bat your little eyel eyelashes. But for me, I get the mama. Anyways, let's go and transform our faces. Oh, you look so cute. Someone sent flowers. Who are these from? Oh, 
fromage. Oh, she did you send me flowers? Oh, it's pretty. Where are these from? I have no idea. Um, there's no note. They're not from dad, no. I doubt it anyway. The note's empty. <laughs> well, we don't know who they're from. So, if you got me flowers, I assume they're probably from a brand, but to signify what? I mean, I guess it's Mother's Day next week, but... Hmm. So we went to Primark and didn't take Ocean. She's been here with her nanny, haven't you? And I got some bits for me, some bits for Ocean, so I thought I'd show you. And Kelsey just doesn't see the vision that I have for Ocean, so let's prop this up. We got this little sports set. It was giving me Lululemon vibes. Yeah, the zip-up jumper with the leggings. I feel like I won't know if I like that until I try it on, so it's so silly that I didn't. Two more sets of packing cubes because when I went away I didn't actually have enough and then it makes me feel a bit funny having loads of different colours. And then I think the rest is for Ocean actually. This cute little cow cube. Yeah, I love that. Cute little white summer dress. I've started getting a few little 12 to 18 months bits Aww. just in the summery stuff because obviously in the summer that's the age she'll be. This was, okay, it's in euros but eight euros and then Ocean has an obsession with ducks. It's one of the only things she can say. So I got, let's see if she says it actually. Ocean, what's this? What's this? It's a, can you see that? Can you see that? Yeah! How cute are they? Well they are, aren't they? And then they've got their Easter stuff. Is that Primark? Yes! And then, this is the one I like that she was sending pictures to Cass. <laughs> no, it's party dress hair. Don't you think it's cute? Yeah, you Imagine do. with her hair in little lovely. Like, it's a proper party, it's beautiful. No, but you wait. With these. No, it's what they give you. Oh, Don't worry, auntie, get you changed. No. Oh, auntie, get you changed. Oh, lovely. Auntie, get you changed. Oh, lovely. Look at her. Oh, Stop it. Yeah. I knew it. Not Not when I knew it. Auntie I knew you, straight away I said I bet Debbie will like yeah, it. Cause, yes, because what? Because what? I'm she backing her up now. <laughs> so this little party just which has a mix of opinions. That, no, it's lovely. Isn't it so cute? I thought Hello. that could be an outfit for her birthday. No, no, no. no. I know, I should have her. <laughs> this is £8. Pound. I should have got her party dress. <laughs> and then these were £3.50. Oh, they're like little ballerinas. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Kelsey, she's a Kel baby. She's a baby, Kelsey. You can't dress her in like... Debra, please. Oh, they're cute. Oh, they're like little lesbian. What's that, Ooch? No, it's each other. Oh, my <gasps> goodness, look at this. They are cute. Look at them little Cute, girl. I got a couple more bits, so we needed some short sleeve vests, some socks. You know the drill socks just go missing in the water. This is cute too, Deb. Look at this. I like that. Mm, that's lovely. Oh, that's really nice. That'd be lucky for holiday. And that's everything. I don't think I should have Because we've booked a few holidays, so we've got some summary bits in need. Does that make any sense? We're in need of summary bits, I mean. And then one more thing for Mama. I've got some sunglasses. Kelsey, did you want to show yours? Oh, they're nice. My stuff's downstairs. Do you like them? Ouch! You don't like them? I love you. I missed you. I wish you could have come, but. I do get to shop easier and quicker when you're gone. I don't have to take the lift. I can just go up the stairs. Well, I actually get by much. Go on, haul. Clips. Where are mine? You got Kirby grip. You put these ones back. Yeah, but where are they? These sunglasses actually said had these. I said they were. Copycat. These are cute. I'm thinking on holiday. Oh God, I really need to put some tan on my face. And then, and then like a lip balmy thing. 
Stop it. You're nasty girl. <laughs> You're gonna take eat your words when yeah. you see her. In no, it. I know she'll look cute. Yeah. You know I dress her nice. Yeah, it's <laughs> Look at us just chilling together for once. <laughs> I don't know why I'm sitting on the floor. I've got the whole sofa <gasps> all by yourself. Oh, the mess. I need to clear this house up, seriously. Yeah, it should work. You're quite good at the spring clean. I'll give it up. No, you're good at it. Yeah, it lasts like half an hour. Good morning. I look crazy and I look so pale. <laughs> this is what I don't understand. You go on holiday and you have a town for what, like three days? I just opened the door to so many parcels. Whoa, careful, they wouldn't have your head. And I think it's loads that I missed when I was away. Can you come say good morning? Come say good morning. You got your new ducky baby girl on, haven't you? Can you say duck? What noise does a duck make? You go shy with the camera, don't you? We just seem to not be able to shake this cold that we've all got but i can just hear it in my head still mm. you want to play with that no not the paper because you'll eat the paper won't you clinique blemish i actually don't think much of this is pr other than that one so this bag that's open is odd news and i can't really remember what i ordered but i do remember ordering stuff i think i had it in a vlog because we've got, hey, I wanted that. You go down there. Good girl, can you pass that to me? I've got a wedding coming up and one of the themes for one of the evenings is white. Oh my God, my hair. I washed it last night, I went to sleep with it dry, uh, wet. So it's dried like hand -like, but should we get it out? One of them brands I've never ever tried on, so I don't know what the sizing is gonna be like for me. I do tend to be in between sizes. Very cute though, and it's one of their brands that you can keep the dresses forever because they're like timeless styles. Oh, that just gives me suffocating vibes like it's stunning, but you know, when you have some pet peeves, I mean, I picked the dress, but it's really thick material, which is good. But I don't know if I'll feel a bit too claustrophobic down in that one. She keeps taking off the um suction from the back of my phone. You know the little um, suction pads? And the amount of having to rebuy buy because she plays with them and then they go missing. But they're probably just all at the bottom of her ball pit. Today is operation sort everything for her party because it's like three weeks away and I know with delivery times. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I'm talking about your party? Um. I want to order like banners, like everything quite personalised. Um, yeah, I've done a couple of party bags. It's really good on Etsy because you can get like pre-packed ones, which sounds lazy, but it's all all on theme. We're doing like ocean theme. That is the same as the last one. Like, What's this? This is a dress that maybe you can wear to your party. This is from Etsy. I hope it's, it's so hard to find like a cute girly dress that's not too OTT in my opinion. She says, about to show you the most OTT dress ever, but there are some that are so out there. Oh my God, I don't know if this is even gonna fit you, Ocean. I don't think this is gonna fit you. She's so tall. And it's, a, oh, see, in my opinion, I think that's actually a bit much. It's a bit too frilly. I guess I can cut these frills off. Oh, it's cute, but it's like, I don't know. What do we think? This is just from a little Etsy place, but this was the most, like, what, what am I trying to say? This is the most um, reserved dress on there. It is cute, and I feel like it would look really cute with her hair done and stuff. Maybe, I'll give it a go, but. I saw this on Zara. I love buying stuff in the boys section. Like, who, who's to say what gender an item of clothing is? But how adorable is that? Like a hot air balloon knit. Clinique, why have you sent me eight of the same thing? I've literally received that three times. We've got one more parcel and I know exactly what this is. So I'm actually supposed to be buying 
to, well I am, I'm going to a ball tomorrow, which is basically an event that's, well, maybe it is going to be like a ball, but I picture like a uh, Princess Diaries vibes with the ball. I'm not actually going to get this out because I know the feather's going to go everywhere, but basically I have a dress um, from Club L. I love their evening dresses. I've worked with them quite a lot. Big fan. And so much so, I've re-bought the dress in a smaller size because I um, can fit in a bit of a smaller size now. Because it's a ball, it's obviously going to be like long dresses and gowns and stuff. So, fingers crossed that looks okay because that's the only option I had. I actually went on her, the, you know the clothing rental. I used to use that all the time when I lived in my old flat. I literally remember I always used to like rent bags and stuff. And for some reason, I tried to rent two dresses and I started last week so I was trying to be prepared and obviously it's like anyone, I can go on there and rent this dress when I'm done with it but the person that's renting it obviously has to either be active on their account and like be aware that I was literally booking the dress out for like two days later because they advise you get it like two days before your event and I booked one dress and then I got an email like 48 hours later saying like it could not be fulfilled so I couldn't find it, I got it in black so I went for like a creamy colour and literally the same thing happened but it said that the user they could not get hold of the user so not a good experience with her but georgia actually texted me earlier and said do you want to go to london today and we can go to the her because they've got a pop-up in selfridges and try on some of the bits but i just don't think i'm gonna have time it's so much harder with her i can't go into selfridges and just try on loads of dresses and expect her to sit and she probably would but it's just too much too much so we're gonna go with this dress, aren't we? I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm doing my most hated job in the whole entire world right now with my um, assistant. And I, when I tell you, <clears throat> I could think of, like what's the thing you'd like hate to do the most in the world? This is what I, I would, love to do the most, isn't it? So, well, that's what I mean, yeah. like. The thing I'd hate to do the most is probably put one peas in loads of little piles. I would <laughs> much rather add up everyone's piggy bank. Oh, that's my, of oh, okay. everyone that follows me in the world. No, you're sick. Right, rather on, than do back. my wardrobe out <gasps> hello little helper we've got two assistants today one's quite small so <laughs> she's actually um just getting in the she's way of it and not mess. really we keep giving but her tasks and she keeps so ignoring cute. us but she's the cutest assistant in the world hi here are the assistants so far thanks for me i've been quite cut through it she's trying to keep all her justin bieber merch giving grow up the thing is I have. I've like got rid of things that like have labels on from Zara that I've never worn but I'm like I'll keep the Justin Bieber hoodie that I've had for 20 Oh and years. apparently the Coachella jumper is going to be vintage when Ocean's old enough. When Ocean's like oh my god mum you in Coachella or it'll be like you know V Festival got like, <laughs> yeah. cancelled. Yeah true. There'll be you no such thing anymore. People. You go to V Fest? Yeah when Justin Bieber headlines. Oh yeah true but no. I never really had you as a camping girl. Oh I didn't camp. today <laughs> and it came with this like tiktok i say tiktok i just see ugh, all the girlies like um uh, emily you know who i mean american that's got like two million followers funny story i actually followed her when she had like 100k i always really liked her and then she just randomly blew up but yeah i feel like that vibe, it's so big. I literally had it on when Kels got in and I forgot I had it on. He was like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, what's going on? I don't know, it's kind of cute. This is one of my favorite times of the day where I've just got out of the bath, just doing skincare, and I'm winding for bed. I'm really trying to stick to an earlier evening routine, especially because Ocean's waking up earlier. Since we got back from Dubai, she's kind of not really um not really got out of the time difference as such i mean she has but she's waking up bang on i kid you not bang on 20 past six every day and the first couple days was like five ish so this is better but yeah we still take it in turns 
I've become um, one of these LED girlies. I'm going to take this off after all that. But, <laughs> and I look crazy. But I'm trying to stick to this because people seem to see results. And whenever I go for, like, my fancy facials, my, like, needling at, like, skin clinics, which I do, do like, twice a year, they always use LED masks. So, they're good for, like, scarring, pigmentation and stuff like that but whew, this is gonna go on for 10 minutes literally just typical that i go to do an evening goodbye good night and then my camera's died so just grab my phone but i i was speeding up what i was saying because i could see my batteries was flashing but yeah it's currently like 10 to 10 which is really good for me i was sticking to 9 30 for a while but i felt like i was rushing my evening a little bit so I'm going for like the 10 to quarter past 10 and I feel pretty good for it to be honest but it's my morning tomorrow which I'm actually glad about because I feel like I'm a bit like stressed thinking about all the things I'm going to do tomorrow and then I've got the LTK ball which I mentioned still not trying on my outfits and PT in the morning so I need to actually look into this because these are expensive i got sent mine they did give me a code not an ad but i feel like it's sydney 15 or sid 15 give it a go i think i threw away the piece of paper but these are pricey i will look up the benefits and stuff and over time i'll let you know if i think it's worth it but i did have a few spots under my chin oh, i feel like <laughs> you'll have to notice in my next clip but um I feel like they have cleared up really quickly and that's what this is supposed to help with so we will see i will see you in the morning good morning thursday and i'm at the gym with makeup on which is not ideal but i'm proud of myself because i got up bright and early and i worked when i got up with ocean <laughs> still got a bloody cold though so i came straight out to the gym while well, she's down for her nap, obviously Cass is there, I don't want to tell her her own. And yeah, I'm gonna get a workout in, so. Should we get to work now? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. And I just was informed that a banana's a carb, so. I've just had my bananas. Scary. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't have one bruise on mine. <laughs> Scary. getting ready for the ball i've just cleaned my makeup brushes really quickly with this stuff which is like a 60 second cleaner it's really good but probably should let them dry out a little bit just because now they just smell a bit sounds bad but like chemically <laughs> anyways we don't have time i literally have just sorted ocean out she's gonna go well, she's gone for a walk to the park with my nan. I tried to take her to the park and go on the swings each day. And Cass is on his way home from work. But by the time... It just was a bit tight for time. Me needing to start getting ready and waiting to kind of like hand over. I just can't start getting ready and give her like half my attention. And so I'd rather know that she's out playing and having fun. And... Funnily enough, I actually just got a phone call from the police. It's a follow-up from when my bag was stolen in London. And that actually happened on February 1st. And today is March 7th. So, I mean, the, this is the second time they've rung. But this today's the day when they're actually going through all the CCTV. But when my nan came around, it's like when I just took the call. And... We were just saying, it is so good how, in some ways, it's such a minor thing. Um, like, in the grand scheme of, like, what goes on day to day in life, much worse things happen. But it's good that the police actually keep to their word and follow these things up. And he's going to give me another call within the next hour once he's watched the CCTV. And see if we can progress any further. But 
obviously I know that the bag's gone, my camera's gone, but it's kind of just peace of mind, what happened, how it happened, and to be honest, it could be a suspect that maybe they've been searching for a while that keeps making these, I don't even know what it's called, like these, doing these crimes, and keeps obviously causing suffering, and you know what I'm trying to say. And maybe, I don't know, it's one step closer to solving a bigger crime, like a house burglary or something, I don't know. But, yeah, even though it's like six weeks later, it's still being looked into. And we will see. I'm expecting not much, and who knows, maybe, obviously nothing actually like monetary, monetary? <laughs> I don't know the wording, but I know, obviously in the grand scheme of things, I know it's not bringing my bag back or anything, but that's not even the reason I reported it. If you watched my video of me explaining the situation, the reason I first reported it, God, it's got dark, hasn't it? I cannot wait for the clocks to change, is because the coffee shop told me I should. Um, I actually was like, oh, I don't really want to waste police time, but it makes sense to kind of add some statistics and I didn't actually realise, I forget, like, even when you're buying a house or moving house, it's, it's really important to look up, like, the crime rate and stuff. Well, personally, I do. And it goes towards the stats, doesn't it? Boring story. Anyway, whilst I'm getting ready, I'm going to chuck a piece of fish in the air fryer. I've got some sweet potato in there. And let's get ready. I'm going to transform from this. My skin's actually quite nice at the minute. Two, actually, let me show you the outfit. Two, a princess. And then here is my finished look. I love this dress. This dress is from Club L. And I just, um, I'm gonna be honest, I needed to wash my hair and I didn't have time, so I've scraped it back. I tried to be a little bit different and have the fringe out. And then heels are as always and my bag we're trying to distract because she's just had a breakdown we think that she's very aware that I'm like about to go out but maybe I'm wrong but she just literally had a meltdown which is very unlike her so I put Miss Rachel on and I'm gonna creep out and I'm not gonna take my camera for obvious reasons and oh yeah did I say what my bag's from? Olivia Sales stunning and I will Catch you guys soon. I might insert some clips if I get any. No promises. But I'm going to meet Georgia. And yeah. See you soon. Let's wrap this video. Hi. It's like a week later now. I've started a new vlog since this. But I didn't do an outro. Just finished on me looking as good as I possibly could for the LTK thing. It was really fun. It was in the Natural History Museum. Also, I feel like I left it on a bit of a cliffhanger when I mentioned about speaking to the police. So, it's quite boring and it would be a long story, but it's crazy that we know that it was a woman that stole my bag. I don't know why, that kind of shocked me. I just guess, like, girl code, <laughs> whatever. But they, the police think that it, she was part of a gang. I'm not going to go into it too much, but it's just interesting to know the exact time like we could have... Oh, I don't know, because basically there was a moment when some people we knew came in and it was that exact time, so we were slightly just... I say we, I was slightly distracted, but I was with my friends. But it's kind of, in a weird way, it is peace of mind, because I know what happened. I know it definitely, definitely was stolen. I know that sounds really silly, but even at first, when the police officer couldn't find the clip, because he had to look through like the whole day's footage, he was like, did you definitely have the bag? And I was like, oh my God, I feel like no one believes me that this bag was stolen. So it's just like, you know when you keep hearing something, you start to think it. Anyway, so boring. I will see you guys in my next one. And do not forget to check out the Johnson's A Parent Is Born series. I will link the videos down below. They are really good episodes. And also, big shout out to Johnson's for sponsoring today's video. It is an honor to be working with them. What a dream. Honestly, they are like... The biggest baby brand so it means the world and as always i love you guys thanks for watching i will see you in my next one